Oh, my God. What? I'll tell you in a minute. Maybe you could tell me now. The sword of Gryffindor. It's goblin made. Brilliant. No, you don't understand. Dirt and rust have no effect on the blade. It only takes in that which makes it stronger. OK. Harry, you already destroyed one Horcrux, right? Tom Riddle's diary in the Chamber of Secrets. With a basilisk fang? If you tell me you've got one of those in that bloody beaded bag of yours. Don't you see? In the Chamber of Secrets, you stabbed the basilisk with the sword of Gryffindor. Its blade is impregnated with basilisk venom. It only takes in that which makes it stronger. Exactly, which is why... It can destroy Horcruxes. That's why Dumbledore left it to you in his will. You are brilliant, Hermione. Truly. Actually, I'm highly logical, which allows me to look past extraneous detail and perceive clearly that which others overlook. Yeah. There's only one problem, of course. The sword was stolen. Yeah. I'm still here. Be you to carry on. Don't let me spoil the fun. What's wrong? Wrong? Nothing's wrong. Not according to you, anyway. But if you've got something to say, don't be shy. Spit it out. All right, I'll spit it out. But don't expect me to be grateful just because now there's another damn thing we've got to find. I thought you knew what you signed up for. Yeah, I thought I did too. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. What part of this isn't living up to your expectations? I mean, did, did you think we were going to be staying in a five-star hotel, finding a Horcrux every other day? You thought you'd be back with your mum by Christmas? I just thought, after all this time, we would have actually achieved something. I thought you knew what you were doing. I thought Dumbledore would have told you something worthwhile. I thought you had a plan. I told you everything Dumbledore told me. And in case you haven't noticed, we have found a Horcrux already. Yeah, and we're about as close to getting rid of it as we are to finding the rest of them, aren't we? Please take... Please take the Horcrux. You wouldn't be saying any of this if you hadn't been wearing it all day. Do you know why I listen to that radio every night, dear? To make sure I don't hear Ginny's name. Or Fred. Or George. Or Mark. What, you think I'm not listening to? You think I don't know how this feels? No, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! You have no family! Stop! Stop! Oh, then go! Go then! Run! And you? Are you coming or are you staying? Fine. I get it. I saw you two the other night. Ron, that's... that's nothing. Ron! Ron, where are you 